the Batman. DC animated, what the fuck are you doing? I mean, really, what the fuck are you doing? Your last two straight to DVD features have been fucking awful. I mean, they've released some duds before, but they were never this fucking bad. Okay, I mean, I, it, I mean, they were duds, they were dull, they were boring, they were, you know, not the greatest, but they were never fucking downright terrible. Okay, DC Animated has released, like, what, almost over 20 movies in, since, like, 2007, and here's the thing, none of them have ever been god-awful, or to put it put it better, none of them were ever bad enough for me not to recommend them to you. Like, some of them were, you know, not that great, but I could still recommend them to you. I, I could be like, eh, they weren't that, um, you know, weren't that bad, um, but I say still watch them, because there still are, you know, pretty good moments. Son of Batman and Justice League War are the top two worst in DC Animated, and that's so fucking sickening to me. But, oh god, um, I mean, these fucking movies are worse than Gotham Knight. Okay, and I, I hate Gotham Knight. Uh, I mean, Gotham Knight has at least some fucking redeemable values in it, but this doesn't. This is so goddamn bad. This and Justice League War are the worst than DC Animated. Got some good stuff in it, but they've been the worst I think I've seen from them. I think I've actually liked Superman Unbound, uh, again, Gotham Knight. I like those movies better than I have these fucking movies. Son of Batman is... I mean, the, these are movies, just like War and Son of Batman were two DC animated movies. I had so much hope for and so much, um, you know, so there are movies that I was so looking forward to and I just, my hopes and dreams for these movies were shattered. This, like, like Justice League War, I was planning on buying on Blu-ray when it first came out, Blu-ray DVD comic pack, and I cannot thank God more th uh, than I can. I, I cannot thank somebody more um, that I didn't go through. That I'm so glad I saw this um, before it, it an early um, screening, um, before it came out on DVD. I'm so glad I saw this early. Now, Justice League War is not as bad, I think, as this. I would not put Justice League War on my worst of movies list. But this is definitely, by the end of the year, you will see this on my worst of 2014 movies list, okay? Justice League War, I would put on, like, my most disappointing. Um, not, not my number one most disappointing, but probably on there. Um, well, by default right now, it's... This is bad. Son of Batman is so fucking bad. This is probably up there. This is probably number two, or maybe, I guess, three. Robocop is probably worth this. Um, this is the one of the worst movies I've seen this year, and by the end of the year, you will see this in my worst of 2014 list. This was fucking painful to sit through. Uh, I, I should, I'll just get into some of the stuff. Uh, why didn't the Lazarus Pit work? Uh, after 600 years, it just sort of stopped fucking working. Oh, no, wait, by the end of the movie, Talia Al Ghul gets to use it, and she gets brought back to life. Uh, okay, fucking fine. Why was Deathstroke a fucking pansy in this movie? Why was Damian Wayne a little fucking brat throughout the whole movie? Why did we never actually see Batman become a fucking father in this movie, as the title entails? There is just so much in this fucking movie I fucking hate. This is... I think... I, I would not go as far as to say this is worse than Batman and Robin, but this is definitely one of the worst Batman films I've ever seen. Um, definitely one of the most disappointing and definitely one of the worst Batman films I've ever seen. And definitely the worst something DC anime has to offer. Um, at least Batman, you know, Gotham Knight, even though it's an anthology film, at least has some good things to offer. At least has some cool stuff that, de that delves into Batman's you know, psyche and origin. Uh, this movie doesn't do shit. With so much potential, with the plot of Batman learning that he has a son, there was so much potential with this movie, and none of that potential was used. Nothing that actually could have been good was fucking used in this movie, okay? 
it's just based off of the graphic novel uh, Batman and Son, I believe. Um, and from what I hear, a lot of people say that there really isn't too much of a difference between this and the movie. The only difference really being the villain, uh, Deathstroke's villain in this movie, as the villain in the comic book is, I forgot. And honestly, I don't fucking give a shit right now. Um, but holy shit, this movie was fucking awful. This was ungodly, unfucking believable. Now, the thing that disappointed me the whole goddamn most in this movie was, like I mentioned, the potential that it could have had with it being a story about Batman learning that he has a son. What I wanted the most from this is, what I expected to get, and what I really wanted to get from this movie is a Batman story about Batman learning that he has a son and Batman learning to become a father. Now, why would I want to see this? Well, I wanted to see that because it would have been something that Bruce Wayne or Batman learned to do uh, and learned to become. It would have showed that he learned to become something that Batman or Bruce Wayne didn't have throughout most of his life, a father. It could have showed Batman learning to become a father, and we honestly could understand why it would be very difficult for him to become a father because he didn't have one for many years, so he doesn't really know what it's like to be one. Um, I wanted to see that. I wanted to see Batman. say it like that, wouldn't that have fucking made a great goddamn movie? I mean, that's because I'm saying it, I think everything I think is great, but that itself is something that I expected, and probably a lot of other people really would have expected, and probably would have made a really fucking good movie. Hell, if you went with a plot like that, that could have filled its own fucking movie. You probably didn't even need to have some super villain in it. You could have just had the whole movie about Batman learning to become his father, and that would have been great, but no, instead we get... Deathstroke wants to take over the League of Assassins for no fucking reason at all, which is really out of character, and I'll get to that fucking piece of shit in a second. But um, something I really wanted to see, too, was not only Batman, not just Batman learning to become a father, but his son, Damien, learning how to become an, an actual, like, kid, not just some wacko, crazy assassin like he showcased in this movie, but more importantly, both of these people learning to become a father or an actual son and they learn how to become a father and son from each other, like an actual father-son relationship, you know, how a father-son really, a father-son relationship actually works, but we don't get this at all. We said, it's, my biggest problem with this movie is that it is so fucking shallow. It's, none of these scenes, no, no scenes like this are ever showcased. I mean, Batman just, Italian just tells Batman he has a son, and he did it pretty fucking well for, oh, I don't know, finding out you just have a fucking son. Not only a son, but a full-grown eight-year-old son. I mean, I know he's Batman and everything, and he's all cool, calm, and collected, but even if I was Batman, I'd pretty much shit a goddamn bat break if I found out I had a fucking illegitimate son who's eight years old and is now a crazy, wacko assassin who's killed more people than I have. I mean, god damn, there's just no actual development between father and son in this movie. I mean, the movie's called Son of Batman. You're pretty much setting up the whole father-son aspect, and yet you never deliver on the whole father-son aspect. I mean, he just kind of welcomes, you know, he just kind of welcomes the fact that he has a son with open arms. He's like, okay, whatever. I mean, that's the weirdest thing that's happened to me. I am a guy who's just like a fucking Batman in my goddamn life. But that was just the most disappointing aspect for me. That's something that you really could have showcased done so much with. I mean, again, you probably didn't even need a super villain subplot in the movie. You could have just went full on with, oh, hey, I'm a, you know, I, I have to learn how to become a father. I gotta learn to be there for this kid when my father wasn't, because he was taken from me, and I want the same thing to happen for Damien. That could have been so fucking good, and yet nothing at all like that is in this movie. And I know some people may be saying, well, you're kind of judging the movie unfairly, should have been instead of what it actually was. Well, okay, I'll look at actually how it was. It was shit. So that's why I really hate the fact that they didn't go with what I wanted it to be. And everything that they do have to offer is fucking, again, like I said, incredibly shallow, not at all as good as how it should have been or what it should have been. And I know maybe some of this stuff wasn't actually in the comic book. Well, okay, you don't have to do everything from the fucking comic book justice, okay? You can, di you can differentiate yourself from the comic book, okay? You can do some stuff that 
I welcome that with open arms. I mean, if you did every single last small detail from the comic book justice, what would be the point of watching the movie? I could just read the book and pretty much get the exact same impression from the I would the movie. It's one of my minor complaints about Batman Year One. It does the comic too much justice to the point where having there be a movie is almost completely irrelevant and just downright unnecessary. Um, but yeah, that's something that really irked me. Just the fact that something that could have had so much potential is never at all used. The movie just has a fucking talent of doing that. Just having so much potential for good and yet not at all using that potential whatsoever. Um, now, here's one, here's the main thing. Uh, one, of, well, one of the main things, the main thing I hated about the movie was that they never showed Batman actually becoming his father. Uh, an actual father. Um, and they really do sweep that under the rug, like I mentioned. Like, Batman never at all has to, you know, I guess, you know, work his way through, you know, being comfortable with the son. He's just immediately comfortable just like that. Like, yeah, I know he's Batman and everything, but there's only my, I can only suspend my disbelief so far. And so on. Okay. Come on, get it. Um, and they also give him the Robin suit, like, way too fucking easily. Um, I mean, the thing that pissed me off the most about that is Batman specifically tells Damien not to go out looking for trouble, not to get into any trouble, and what does he do? Gets into trouble and gets into, you know, goes looking for trouble, gets into trouble. Um, has to have Nightwing, has to bring in Nightwing to, you know, kick his ass, which was really fun seeing. Um, one of the only fair moments in this, I will actually, one of the only fair moments in this reveal, actually, I will say something good about it, it was cool seeing Nightwing in it, um, he did actually look cool, and it was seeing him beat the shit out of, um, Damien, um, as Nightwing beat the shit out of Damien and bring him back to the Batcave, Batman scolds him for, you know, disobeying his orders, and yet, he gets the fucking Robin costume just like that, and then, they, then they're off on a mission trying to find, uh, Kurt Langstrom. Did you, did you notice the fucking problem with that? He disobeyed orders. He fucking just downright just said fuck you to Batman. And yeah, he got the Robin suit just like that. Simple as that. I don't know why. And that's, uh, here's another thing that really made me mad about the movie. It seemed like he got the fuck, he took up the mantle of Robin way too goddamn easily. It just seemed like all he had to do to become Robin or to really uh, earn the Robin he didn't kill some guy. Like, he decided not to kill Deathstroke at the very end of the movie, even though Deathstroke ended up dying anyways. He didn't, it wasn't voluntarily his fault, he still ended up dying. Um, again, I don't remember what my problems with the movie. Um, it didn't... It, it takes so much more to, be, to become Robin than just not killing a dude. If it was that easy, I think a lot of people in this universe would end up being Robin just because they don't decide to kill somebody. Um, it just seemed like he became Robin way too damn easily especially when Batman contradicts himself and gives him the Robin suit after he disobeyed his orders. It just seemed like the whole movie, again, what it should have been, as opposed to what it ended up being, was the movie should have also ended up being about, night, about Damien becoming Robin and earning the Robin mantle. And I think a really smart choice would have been having him actually become Robin at the very end of the movie and not instead from in the fucking middle of the movie just because, oh, hey, it's a Batman movie, so we got to have him in the Robin suit somehow for more than, you know, 15 minutes. I think it would have been such a smarter and more clever idea if they had him, like, get the Robin suit at, like, the end of the movie, just, like, seconds before the credits. Like, I would have much more preferred that than what we actually got. Like, it would have been such a smart choice if he didn't get the Robin suit in this. He just disobeys orders, but he gets Robin suit anyways because he decided not to kill a guy. That's... No! Um, I mean... Batman's a fucking idiot in this movie, too. He takes a total backseat once the whole Damien and lead assassin Deathstroke bullshit side plot is, is, you know, revealed. And he just, again, that's something that I thought was really a bad choice. Seeing as this, this could have been, oh, I don't know, a fucking Batman and Son, you know, Batman movie. That's what it should have been. But, no, he just said, get Damien and Bat no Batman, like, at all. Like, once Damien's introduced, it's just like Batman's barely in the movie. Yeah. Um, yeah, I 
It just sucks. It, the movie just fucking sucks. It, there's so many things that piss me off about this movie, and I'm not even halfway done. Like, here's another one of the main things that just really fucking pissed me off about this movie. Deathstroke. This was not fucking Deathstroke, okay? I don't care what way you put it. I don't care who you call him. I don't care if you put him in the same little fucking face and you know, little outfit. This is not fucking Deathstroke, okay? At least not the Deathstroke that I grew up with. At least not the Deathstroke that I am. since Justice League War, these DC movies are trying to do a whole shared universe of movies, uh, something very much similar to the new 52 comic books, um, all these new, you know, the, the, the designs are the same, even Batman's voice actor, Jason Omar, is even the same from Justice League War, his design is the same, a lot of character designs are still the same from Justice League War, I get that, but, um, so, I guess maybe the reason why Deathstroke is not the Deathstroke that I remember from the I don't fucking care because this Deathstroke fucking sucks, okay? This villain in this movie is not the Deathstroke that I remember. I know it's a really biased, really selfish um, opinion, but even if you don't look at it as, oh, this is my version of my of the character that I enjoy, the villain still fucking sucks and has no goddamn clear motivation at all. He wants to take over the League of Assassins, okay? Why? Uh, because he's evil, I guess. Okay, how does he try to take over the League of Assassins? He hires Kurt Langstrom, Man Bat, to create human bat super ninja hybrids in order to take over the League of Assassins, even though he kind of already did, and now he kind of wants to take over the world or drill oil out of or take the, or get a Lazarus pit or some fucking shit like that. So, yeah, either way you look at it, either if you look at it as oh, this isn't my death joke, or oh, the villain's just bad based on, you know, writing, just bad writing. He's fucking bad either way, okay? Deathstroke, in the comic books, was never a guy who had really any higher... He never sought out anything higher, okay? He was just a guy that you hired. He was a hired... He was a mercenary for hire. He was just a guy you hired to kill another guy, or a guy you hired to blow something up, or just a guy that you hired to do something just a badass that you paid. He was never a guy who wanted to take over this big, giant, secret fucking ninja society bullshit, okay? That this was not that fucking character. And another thing, he didn't need a fucking army to, to pull off his big, giant, elaborate plan, okay? Like, he would join secret societies or whatever, like the Injustice League or whatever, to take out, you know, certain, you know, uh, big DC superheroes and whatnot. But he would never fucking need a goddamn army of men off what he needs to pull off, okay? And I'm pretty sure he didn't uh, lose his eye because a fucking eight-year-old took it from him, okay? Yeah, that's how it ends up in this movie, okay? Damien Wayne just fucking plucks his eye out with a sword, and that's about that. That's about that. Even though in the comics it was his wife that shot him in the eye because he let his son die, or apparently die. Um, yeah, he's kind of a fucking pussy in this movie, uh, too. Uh, he gets his eye taken out by an eight gets fucking in involuntarily killed by a goddamn eight-year-old. Yeah, Deathstroke, Slade Wilson, the fucking Terminator. Yeah, big badass gets fucking killed by an eight-year-old. Suck my dick. I mean, again, he needs a fucking army of men to take over the Lazarus Pit and all that bullshit. And, oh, that was another thing in this movie. Apparently the Lazarus Pit just works when it feels like it because it apparently can revive Rachel Gould and Talia Gould for six centuries, but... Not for right now, I guess. Why? Again, because it feels like it. I mean, he's been using this for years and years and years, but right when Deathstroke wants to kill him, he, it doesn't end up working. Okay? I'm pretty sure that never happened in the, any other Batman comic I read, but okay, for this movie's sake, yeah, it'll have to go. No, it's not going to fucking go that way. Uh, okay, uh, so what else? Uh, I mean, what made Deathstroke so cool was that he was just so badass, and he had the potential of taking over any anything that he wanted. He had the potential of just going with an iron fist, but he never did because he knew he could do it, so he didn't even try doing it. It's, it's kind of like 
it was never a challenge to him. Like, the guy was just some guy that he hired, and that was it. Like, he had so much badass potential to do whatever he wants, but he just ended up being just some mercenary for hire and made him so much more badass. I mean, just to put it this way, guys, just, I'll, I'll give you guys an idea of how bad he is in this movie. He is so bad in this movie that ba it makes Batman Arkham Origins look like they actually have more of a respect for that character. Okay, they honestly didn't, but in that small amount of time that he was in that game, I can at least still say to myself, oh yeah, that's fucking Deathstroke, perfectly realized. But here in this movie, this is not fucking Deathstroke. It just baffles me why they ended up going with Deathstroke to begin with, especially because, well, he wasn't the villain in the original book that this movie's based on anyway, so why Deathstroke? You might as well just make it other, any other DC assassin that's in the DC universe. I mean, they just took one of the most badass aspects of the entirety of did a total 180 on him, and I guess maybe this is the Deathstroke from the New 52, I don't know, but this is not, but even if you look at it as that, he still fucking sucks, like, he gets his ass whooped by an 8 year old, Batman doesn't even involuntarily take him out, which is, uh, he fucking sucks, okay, he, he really fucking sucks, this whole plot to do the whole man-bat ninja hybrid bullshit, it's just dumbest fucking thing ever. I mean, I know it's a comic book movie and everything is based off a comic book, but that was fucking dumb. That was really fucking stupid. He wants to take over the world or whatever using bat, ninja, hybrid army, some fucking shit. Again, why does he need help? He's the Terminator. He's Deathstroke. He's Slade fucking Wilson. He does not need fucking help. If he wanted to rule something with an iron fucking fist, he would fucking do it with his own goddamn intelligence. The dude can use 90% of his brain fucking of his fucking brain capacity. I think he can do that all on his own. He doesn't need fucking bat ninja bullshit hybrids or whatever. But fucking bottom line, the movie fucking sucks, okay? I just goddamn hated this movie. And see what else I hated about the movie? That about covers it. Almost no, nothing redeemable about this movie. The animation, even the animation wasn't that good. It just really bothered me. It looked like some weird ass hybrid I guess you could say anime and traditional 2D American animation, and it just didn't mesh well for me personally. And also the voice acting, was another fucking bullshit voice acting decision. Jason O'Mara, I mean, I like Jim Justice League War, but goddamn, he's just sleepwalking through this movie. He doesn't sound... And, and the sad thing is, he's not a bad Batman voice, but the problem is, it's just the same Batman voice I hear a lot. Like, with Kevin Conroy can say, yeah, that's a Batman voice, but there's a little something else brought to it. Same thing with Bruce Greenwood, but never does he do anything a little bit original. It's just the same rough and growly voice that Batman's always associated with, but there's nothing new to it. It's just the same Batman voice we've heard before, and I just don't like Jason Navarro as well as Batman. The, the voice acting was fucking horrendous in this movie. You can literally see the lines that they're just reading as how fucking so goddamn bland, and they sound so uninterested, and that just makes you so uninterested, too. The guy that they got the voice, Slay, uh, Deathstroke, was especially bad. He just sounded way too monotone and boring to be Deathstroke. When I think of Deathstroke, I think of, you know, Ron Perlman's voice. Even the guy who was in Young Justice Invasion, I think of that as, you know, I think of Manu Bennett. I think of a fucking, uh, again, Ron Perlman from Teen Titans. Arkham Knight, uh, or Arkham Assault on Arkham, the next animated Batman movie coming out this year, can redeem this one, and maybe even Justice League War, but I highly fucking doubt it. I mean, that movie looks especially bad, and it's probably gonna end up being bad. I mean, this was a movie that I was really looking forward to, and it ended up being bad. Th this Assault on Arkham is a movie I'm expecting to be bad. Can you imagine how bad it's actually gonna be? I mean, you got Kevin Conroy coming back as Batman, that's probably gonna make me definitely see it for sure, but... I don't know, I don't really have too much high hopes for it or anything. I mean, maybe that will actually make me enjoy the movie a little bit more. But, just don't fucking see this movie, okay? If you're gonna see it, then, like, just see it for free at the very least. But, yeah, this movie fucking sucks. Five out of ten. It was, like, half of the movie. It wasn't even a half of the movie. Give it a fucking four out of ten. It was bad. It was just below fucking anything I actually wanted to get from this movie. I 
know that may seem unfair, like, you're like, what, the movie's bad because it wasn't what you wanted, but even if you don't look at it as that, it still is a bad movie, a bad movie's a bad movie either way, there was just so much potential for this movie, and yet nothing at all was used, nothing, um, so yeah, that by the end of the year, you probably will see me further talk about, uh, you know, talk further about this movie in my top whatever worst film. 14. It's not that the one of the most disappointing movies I've seen in 2014. Bottom line, just don't fucking watch this movie, and I'm just sick and tired of talking.